me. Okay, folks, my new best friend in the whole wide world, <laughs> Clay of uh, Top, sent me another care package. And one of the boxes that he sent was this box of Topps Murad basketball. It just came out. Um, it, it's really Topps, a lot like Mayo football. Uh, it's their effort to bring the concept of an Allen and Ginter type product to the basketball market. Uh, they chose Murad because it was the first set. It came out in 1910. And it was the first set to feature a basketball player. However, the original Murads were not a basketball card set. It was really a college set. And uh, most of the major colleges and universities had their own card. And along the inset of each card, there was an athlete. Uh, there were football players, runners, cyclists, baseball players... And there were a few basketball players. So technically, that was the first set to have a basketball player in it. But it wasn't the first true basketball card set. Now that we got that out of the way. Uh, it's a very elaborate design. As you can see, this is what the base cards look like. Each card has a pennant, a seal, and a player. Uh, the set is 230 cards, and it's 125 veterans, 45 retired players, 30 rookies, and the last 30 cards are short prints. Uh, you get 24 packs in a box, 6 cards in a pack, and here's the interesting thing. Um, they actually announced that only 599 cases would be made uh, 12 box cases. That works out to about 7,200 hobby boxes. Now, that of course doesn't account for blaster boxes, but 7,200 boxes is not a whole lot. Alright, each pack, each hobby box comes with one of these, a T6 cabinet, and there's actually three different versions of each cabinet. There is a regular, a black, which is numbered to 51, and a silver, which is numbered to 10. And in this particular one, I got a Dwayne Wade black. That, as you can see on the back, is serial numbered to 51 copies. Not a bad start. The base set, I got roughly half of it. Half the two, half of the uh, 200 card veteran set. Like I said, the originals, the original murads were actually horizontal, but most of the cards in the set are vertical in format. I guess because you have big, tall basketball players, it would look better vertically. I pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rookie cards. Now, there are two different versions of each rookie card. And one in every six packs, you're supposed to get a variation. Just one problem, though. You can't figure out which ones are the base cards and which ones are the variations. So, supposedly, I got four rookie card variations out of this box. I did happen to pull both of the Michael Beasley's and if you could tell from that which one is the base card and which one is the short printed variation you're a much better collector than I am because I cannot. Uh, I also got Derek Rose the number one pick overall. Now there's 30 short prints and these come one in every three packs. And I got eight of them. I got Paul Pierce, uh, Dwight Howard, Duncan, Tracy McGrady, all eight of them. So you get eight out of 30, so it shouldn't be all that bad to pull to uh, build a set of this. 
you receive, we also receive, like in the Allen and Ginter and Mayo, you get an original size mini parallel in each pack. And unlike the regular base cards, here all of the cards are horizontal, like the originals. Let me give you an example. Here is a Yi Jing, how do you pronounce this guy's name? Yi Jing Lang's parallel. And here's what his base card looks like, vertical. Now, you're supposed to get two black bordered parallels in each box, but looking through all these, again, like with the rookie variations, I can't tell which ones are the black border parallels. I kind of figured that this uh, Yao Ming might have been the pair. The, uh, black border, but then I compared it to his base card, and they're both the same. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I got three mini rookies, and you're supposed to get a mini rookie variation in every 18 packs. And again, I can't tell which one is the variation and which ones are the base. And you get two of the designated short prints the mini versions of each short prints in a box. And my two were Rudy Gay and Bino Benno Udurin, Sacramento. Now, the moment that most of you have been waiting for, you get either a hit in a box in a pack or a dummy card in a pack. And this is what the dummy cards look like. It's actually a 30 card in action series. And just like in the base cards, the players' names are not on the front. The backs basically double as the checklist. Got 22 of them. Now the hits. You're supposed to get one autograph and one relic in each box. My relic was a Brandon Roy jersey card. And just like in Alan Gintra and Mayo, uh, the relics are all mini-sized and framed with a little window so you can touch the relic. But the big hit of this box was a Russell Westbrook autograph that's serial numbered 10. Uh, just like with the uh, large cabinet cards, there's actually three different versions. There's a regular, a black version numbered to 51, and a silver numbered to 10. And this must be the silver, even though I don't see any silver on the card. Um, it is a sticker autograph. I know a lot of them thought that these were on card, but it is a autograph that's only numbered to 10, so it's got to be worth something, right? Anyway, um, if you like Alan Ginter, you'll like this. If not, you won't. Uh, be interesting to see how the basketball card collectors uh, react to this. Uh, I think this might sell because of the limited protection more than uh, the actual collectability of it. Uh, but I like it. Um, I don't know if I'd want to go out and buy a, another box of this stuff. Um, but it's pretty cool. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you.